Hey, this is Steve Good on the Coin Chat with Richard Ells from Electronium. Richard, it's an absolute pleasure to meet you oh, here. It's a pleasure to We're see you. We're here at the Crypto Comparer uh, event, the uh, Asset Summit. This is a really cool event. I mean, it's small, but it's really fun. Yeah, it's got some great people here, great faces. Yeah, so now we've, we've of course, we've met once very briefly on a uh, on a, a group podcast. Yep. Um, Crypto about Rich. A, with Crypto Rich, so shout out to Crypto Rich, mate. How are you? Um, and that was about a year ago, I guess, was wasn't it? it? No. <laughs> Time flies. You're the most impossible guy to reach. <laughs> but it's great to meet you face to face now. Great to meet you. So also. while we're here, I just thought it'd be great to get an update on what's happening with Electronium. What are you guys up to? Um, I, we always love to hear the challenges and the problems yep. you're facing as well. So wherever okay. you'd like to start. Okay. I'm going to make it fast. Uh, uh, we've got uh, great things going on in South Africa. Uh, people are uh, paying for taxi rides. People are. Uh, we've got uh, they're fairly small things. Yeah, at the moment we've got a small taxi ride thing going on. We've got um, uh, car washes. We've got a few uh, small small vendors coming on. Uh, all of this is being done using Electronium. All Electronium, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So uh, all that kind of instant payment uh, stuff is working really well down there. It's our first real on the ground. So this is really trial. the adoption of crypto being used. Yeah. Now, how? Why South Africa? Because um, you're based in the UK here. Yes, so yes. We're, we're sitting here in the UK, and why have we ended up in South Africa? Uh, well, uh, of course, we're, we're aiming for the, the, the unbanked. Right. Uh, our largest area that we're, that we're concentrating on at the moment is Soweto, uh, just outside Johannesburg. Oh, wow, that's really interesting. Uh, there cool. are a million people plus who earn less than 20 cents an hour in Soweto. Oh, my God, right. That's so, uh, from our point of view, it's a great place to be. It's, it's where technology and uh, and poverty meet actually in South Africa more so than a lot of other African countries very different to other African countries right but it's also uh, a great base for us to be able to hop in and out and uh, and get our feet on the ground and and work with um, work with people that, that can this can genuinely make a difference to their lives right uh, and also at the moment I mean we're, we're emitting coins as people know we got this sort of mobile miner yeah uh, we've we've made a phone uh, which here you go you can have oh, one wow. of those have an ETF hey, look at that. I got myself an Electronium <laughs> Android phone so I can start yeah. spending my Electronium so where can I spend it across Europe then uh, well uh, I mean across this Europe really large, cool. largely the answer is oh, realistically awesome. not many places at the moment right. so uh, I mean our adoption uh, efforts so we have to go to South Africa for holidays at the moment then. yeah well we've got well, I've got a few more <laughs> countries going to be launching really imminently and by the Great. end of the year I think we'll, oh, this would be an absolute exclusive for my people who really scream at me if I if I put numbers in. But I reckon by the end of the year we'll have 20 countries live that you'll be able to top up your. We're going to edit. We're going to pretend edit that out. 20 yeah. countries. Anyway, Electronium has big plans. Yeah, big plans. Vision. We'll have we'll have uh, we've got a lot of people <laughs> that we've done deals with that will enable us to top up airtime and data with a lot more networks in a lot more countries. And they will start going live literally after our fork, which is about two weeks away. Wow! So uh, that fork unlocks some of this. Yeah. Uh, so it's an exciting time for us, as always. Uh, we made a huge change to the app just recently. If you haven't onboarded anyone on our app, uh, which you won't have done, I dare say, in the last six, eight weeks, if you onboard someone now, you, from from downloading the app to being to, to cloud mining and being able to use Electronium, it's it's 60 seconds. It's uh, wow. insanely fast. The user interface and has so been these massively. These are also being used for the for the for the mining as well, right? Yeah, they they, they mine uh, electronics, same as any other. It's an Android phone. It's fully right. branded. We're a manufacturer. We're trying. The first place we're trying to distribute them is in South Africa, of course. But um, we are in the process of dealing with one of their governmental bodies called ICASA. To we've registered with ICASA. We're now waiting for some registration numbers for each unit, which have to come to us, and we right. put, have to put them on the, the whole palletized unit, and then we can cool. import it. And then we've got a distributor waiting to uh, to take Fantastic. them on. So if somebody was let's say listening to the show and they're in the industry, they wanted to become a partner. Do you have a partner program as well for them yeah. to get hooked and engaged? We do. We've got people coming on now, starting to accept electronic all sorts of other things as well. Perfect. Talk to the talk to the guys at the office. Reach out on social. Go to our community forum. Reach out from our community forum, and somebody from the office will will help out. But ultimately, with our instant payment system, that makes it really easy to accept ETN as a cryptocurrency. Fantastic. It's really easy. API really cool. So, any, so last quick question. So, I mean, you know, you're in the midst of all of this. What are some of the challenges we're facing in terms of really getting to the next level of adoption? Because I think that's the big theme that we're seeing in all the conferences we go to. I was in Malta yep. two weeks ago. Big topic it was adoption, adoption. Yep. That's what yep. Roger Vera was saying. That's what yep. Tom Bays was saying. That's what Andreas Antonopoulos was just saying. What, what would you say is, is yep. the big thing we need to do next to make Electronium and the crypto yep. environment go okay. forward? Okay, that's a great question. I mean, I, I believed right from day one that 
uh, mo we've got virtual mobile ubiquity, right? Everybody's got a smartphone, uh, yeah. and and even the people that don't have smartphones, smartphones are becoming more and more affordable. So uh, and there's there's used units turning up around the world. So right. so smartphone access to your crypto is essential, in my opinion, to get massive massive adoption. Yeah. And then from an electronium point of view, everybody, it's easy for us to airdrop. It's easy for us to, to provide cloud mining and give people something. But for we're not sure. a charity. None of these none of these projects are charities. So what we're trying to do is get people to adopt and use it. So from Electronia's point of view, what we're our, our massive next thing uh, is going to be the gig economy, getting people to the be able to- The gig economy, so the millions. Getting people to be able to earn cryptocurrency uh, and spend that cryptocurrency on the day-to-day -day provision. So Fantastic. if you can earn $5 instead of 20 cents an hour, you have made, uh, well let's face it, if you can earn a dollar an hour instead of 20 cents an hour, yeah, you have you made a massive difference. you can make more money and make it more toward a, a normalized yeah. economy. Yeah. And so that also suggests in some ways that you're, the influence that we have through adoption is to bring these other countries up to a level where they're more on a level playing field with the rest of us by giving them banking based services, well, if giving them got, spending yeah, services, right? Uh, indeed, if you've got, you've got, if you've got, you've got tens, millions, hundreds of millions of people that, that are in subsistence living that, and they, they fill their days with, with trying to get enough money to pay for food yep. uh, and very much on an hour by hour basis sometimes you see street corners where people stand waiting for a truck to come past, hoping that a truck's going to stop and you jump on as a laborer, you go and do some jobs, someone hands you some money, yep. you buy the maize meal or whatever food it is you're going to yep. do, you go home and you feed your family. I, I grew up seeing this living in California as a child where we used to have these pickup trucks that would be driving by with Mexicans that had come across the border illegally, or maybe yep. not illegally, but many of them were illegal. Yeah. And they were hopping on the trucks to get their job for the day. Yeah. It was farming yeah. jobs and yep. agricultural jobs, mostly in the region where I lived. Yeah. And then they were dropped back off at the end of the day. And I saw yeah. this every day as a child. Yeah. So I completely yeah. understand that kind yeah. of concept because I saw that growing up. It's it amazing. Absolutely. And if you've got, yeah. not, not all of those people are going to be able to grasp uh, a digital world and, and, and be part of the global digital economy. But we can get them but a whole lot closer. You absolutely, and, and bear in mind there's generations coming up that will absolutely, they've already embraced the digital world. So for them to be standing there and actually completing a small digital task, yeah. they're now doing both things. They've filled that gap of their day with something that might well earn them more money than the, than the physical labor. That's so awesome. get people earning crypto, get this ecosystem out where if you've given a value to crypto, this is why we, we're, we're quite insistent on trying to get this uh, top up of your phone and airtime because yep. I, again, I don't know if you're aware, but a lot of countries in the world, airtime and data is used as a commodity already. Yeah, like in Zimbabwe, it was used as a, as a means oh, of yeah, uh, finance. It still is, massively yeah. so, especially in Zimbabwe, the, you, yeah. you've got real problems with international remittance yeah. as well. So yeah, airtime and data I'll is give a little hint, user. but in our first chapter of the book that's coming out in October that we've written, uh, we talk about alternative currencies and we mentioned Zimbabwe as an example of airtime and how it was used as a means of currency. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. And totally with you on the same that, page on that, yeah. Huge, it's a huge remittance thing into India, huge remittance thing into Pakistan. There's a, there's a, massive, oh, wow. uh, a massive market of remittance with airtime and data. So here's an interesting question. You just mentioned India. Now you've probably seen in the news recently the, the, the issue that India is throwing at us all now about potentially banning it. We see Facebook yeah. trying to launch yeah. a global coin and of course, Back in, uh, I don't know if you remember, December 2018, January 2019, Facebook said they were going to trial WhatsApp using their, their stable coin on, on WhatsApp in India. And yeah. now you see India saying, well, hang on a second, yeah. maybe we're going to block yeah. it. And now we're saying, on the other hand, if we want to get into the global remittances and we want to get into the the uh, ability to you know, service the markets, yeah. India and Pakistan are core markets. Yeah. What do we say now to the fact that India is saying, hey, you know, let's not do this, and on the other hand, we're saying, but it's a major market that we can service yeah. to help. What do we do in this context here? What's the? Well, we, we are we're working with a number of governments. We haven't managed to find anybody in the Indian government yet that we can work with, but certainly in some of the African states, what what the governmental fears are of crypto is that they will see um, a money outflow from the country. Right. So if you imagine, uh, Bit if they say so this is more crypto, of a currency is, protection rather than economic growth. Yeah, they're what they're trying to do is they're trying to stop huge outflows of money coming from the country. They have not seen it, uh, well certainly in the conversations we've had, they have not seen crypto as something that will bring wealth into the country. Wow. And that's another door that we're trying to open really, because yeah. if, if once they see, oh, hang on a minute, a lot of our population can earn some money from the West, or not the West, but the developed world. Well, just in general, can be, yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, one of the things that we've got going with our gig economy is we've now got the legal process in place, I hope <laughs> to say that we've got the ability to buy the gigs with a Visa card, so you can Amazing. buy the gig 
the remittance takes place in ETN to the end user. The end user can spend that on whatever they nice. want. And suddenly you've got the Doors develop, open. developed world is now passing through that wealth and you're closing yeah. the gap between well, you're describing the, 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 the problem the of a country where they have no banking, no credit card, they can't have Netflix. They no. might have the ability to get good internet, but they can't even use it without, without a credit card. No, that's right. They can't no, even no, get Netflix. Absolutely. They can't yeah, get yeah. Amazon. Well, they can't massive, get services. Yeah. yeah. Massive, massive. Amazing. Uh, well, what uh, great market. opportunities. This is exciting. Yeah, yeah. We, we are. We, this is 1985 in the mobile phone industry. Oh, it, yeah. Absolutely. This is the beginning. This is, it is. What's internet, basically, you know, all yeah. over again? Yeah, yeah. This is great. Richard, thank you very much for taking the time Absolute to join us on pleasure. the point Thank chat. you very much. Amazing. Richard Ellis from Electronium, thanks, guys. Everyone. This was super. Well, thanks, very much for listening in, for watching, for joining us. Hit the subscribe bell, the subscribe button, and that little bell on your way out to the moon. Until next time.